Hey Kevin, the temptations that I am going through is too much. This is way too hard. I have no other choice but to sin because what I am going through is too much. Why is God doing this to me? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. So what does that mean? I know when you are going through troubles, you believe that what you are going through, no one else is going through what you are going through. From what this is saying, what you are going through is common for others to go through it as well. So what you need to do is take your mind off yourself. I know that is difficult, but take your mind off yourself and place it on God. Because what you are going through, others are going through it as well. So stop this pity party stuff. It is no good for anyone. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So when you are being tempted, let's say that you are at a level five. God is not going to allow you to be tempted at a level six. He is not going to allow you to be tempted above what you are able to handle. So if you are at a level five, he is not going to allow you to be tempted at a level six because you are at a level five. He is not going to tempt you above your level, sort to speak. Okay, let's continue. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape. So whatever temptation that you are going through, God is making a way of escape for you. So what is that saying? When you get tempted, don't just give up and sin, just strive through it and God is going to make a way to escape. Okay that ye may be able to bear it. So when you are tempted, continue to fight, and God is going to make a way for you to escape that temptation so you can handle the situation. Makes sense, right? So all you have to do is resist. That's it. Oh, Kevin, this temptation is so difficult. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, poor me. No one is going through what I'm going through. Why me? Why so much pain? Why so much suffering? Why, why, why? Stop that pity party stuff. That is no good for you. It is just going to make things worse. You have to resist. I have to resist. Do you believe that I don't have any problems? Like my days are just fun and happy and I have a big smile on my face and stuff like that. Do you believe that Everything goes right with Kev. Do you believe that? It doesn't. I resist. When demons put crazy thoughts in my mind, I fight them off. When demons do all of this stupid stuff in my dreams and stuff, I fight it off. 
when demons work through other people to irritate me or to try to get me to sin, I fight it off. I resist. I don't give in. Because I know if I give in that time, there is going to be another time. And then it is going to be to the point where I am sinning persistently every single day. And I am not going back to that. No more. No more. So I am resisting and cutting out the pity part. The pity party. Yes, I feel down some days. Yes. Where, you know, I don't want to move or I don't want to speak to people and stuff like that. Yes, I get down. But I get myself back up. I pray that makes sense. God bless.